Have you ever ran into the problem of transferring files to your Windows computer from your phone, having to resort to apps like Google Drive, Dropbox, or even OneDrive? Well, today I'm going to basically show you how you can use AirDrop on your Windows computer and transfer your files smoothly. But before we get into it, here's a quick word from today's sponsor, Uni. Uni specializes in tech accessories to make our lives easier while maintaining focus on quality and affordability. This is their dual USB-C and USB 3.0 SD card reader. This card reader lets you simultaneously read and write on two cards to keep you from unplugging and plugging it in constantly. This small package is great for photographers and creators on the go to help you make sure your content is nice and accessible. You can also save yourself 15% off with my discount code PLUG15. For more information, visit the website linked down in the description. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so I came across this app that lets you basically airdrop files from your phone straight to your Windows computer. And today I'm going to show you how you can use it. Now, this app does work on Android as well. I have an iPhone, so I'm using it on iOS. But let's go ahead and let's show you how you can airdrop these files. All right. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to Google and you can type in local send download and it'll be the first link at the top for you. Go to the website and then click download. And you want to choose the correct download that you need. For me, it'll be Windows. Like I said, you can use this with an Android. So if somebody had an Android and then they purchased like a MacBook Pro or something like that, they can download it on Mac OS and they can still get that airdrop feature. So download it and click EXE and it'll go ahead and install it for you. And then you also want to do the same thing on your phone. Download the app from your phone on the Google Play Store or the App Store. After you get it downloaded and installed and you boot it up, this is the screen that you will be greeted with. Now go ahead and do the same thing on your phone, get it pulled up. And what you see on this screen right here, you see a tab with send, receive and settings. So it's very simple to use. And then this word in the middle is like your code name. So they have a code name for the device that you're trying to send your files to and then the device that you are sending your files from. So that way you can easily recognize them when you're trying to connect the two. So I do have my phone, so I will put the screen recording up for you guys to see. If you're on the receive section on your phone, it will Will tell you what your code name is there so that way you can connect from your computer if you're trying to send something from your computer but we are sending the video from our phone to our computer so i want to go ahead and hit the send tab and then we'll have these options here at the top and you'll also want to make sure that your desktop is on receive as you can see you have your selection at the top media text file folder for me i would choose media because i'm sending over a video file and then you can see nearby devices now you can hit that little refresh button if it's not coming up then it should come up for you but right there is my computer which i will be sending the file to so i'll go ahead and click media and then i'm going to be sending this 23 minute video over using local send now i try using this with google drive dropbox and onedrive and all of them just took so long with this i sent this 23 minute 4k video over within like 9 to 10 minutes so it's really great i'll go ahead and select that file then you'll hit confirm and then if you want to add more files to it you can or you can click edit and you can delete it because it will keep that up there so you will need to switch out the type of files that you want to select you just simply delete them then i'll go ahead and click my nearby device and as you can see on my desktop it popped up as well and then you just want to go down to the bottom and hit accept and then it will start sending your file over and it will not take long at all last night i was working on a video and i needed to finish it in a timely manner and trying to transfer the file using google drive was just a headache i wish i found out about this years ago because i've been using google drive and sending videos and downloading them to my desktop for a long time so you know i'm really glad that i found this app and it just speeds up the entire process so i hope the video was helpful for you if it was be sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel down below this app is perfect for anybody on the go you know they take the their work with them they may have a work laptop and they can still edit and transfer files and do all the things that they need to do on the go and it's definitely perfect for anybody who shoots videos on their phone and then they transfer and edit them on their computer so local sin makes it a lot easier to transfer all your files no this isn't sponsored by local sin it's just a great app that's super useful if you're someone who's just getting started with content creation or streaming or you're looking to get started and you're looking to level up your gear and your setup check out this video that i made on the fine fine gaming mixer and if you're someone who's already been making content and you're looking to kind of upgrade your microphone quality check out this video where i show you how to do just that 